David Nicosia, do I say that properly, Andrew, is for the National Weather Service. And everything is about to change when it comes to weather alerts. And it's all done to simplify, to make things clearer. Um, David is on the line right now. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Well, I am really can't wait to get this interview over so I can go home and get my iPhone. I'm kidding. I heard about that. <laughs> I'm a little distracted. Uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> let's uh, let's talk about because um, I got to tell you, in a lot of cases, this is where we get our weather today. Um, uh, the iPhone has really changed the world. People are getting their weather instantly. You're getting alerts that are popping up on your phone, uh, but things are about to change, and I think it's important for us to understand what these terms are going to mean. So, give us a, a little bit of a lesson. What uh, what what's what's what are we going to expect here this winter? One of the things that the weather, National Weather Service is doing is simplifying um, our watch warning and advisories that we issue for the different hazards. And this winter, um, we're consolidating some of the watches and the advisories that we issue. Okay. So uh, your listeners probably know about the, like, a watch means that um, conditions are favorable mm-hmm. uh, for, the, for the event, whatever, yep. whatever yep. it is. It means it's possible. So, for instance, uh, we used to issue lake effect snow watches for lake effect snowstorms if there was a possibility of mm-hmm. a, you know one of those bands yeah. coming off of Ontario down into your into your county into yeah. Oneida County. Um, well, now we're we're just going to call it a winter storm watch. We're okay. consolidating everything into that. I, I got to tell you because when when when, when that snow comes down in a lake effect event, mm-hmm. it feels like a storm. But we're like, it's not a storm. Uh, and that's where I think that it has been confusing over over the years here. Yeah. And that's, so that's what we're doing. We're just, yeah. we're putting all the watches into one category, winter storm watch. But we will mention that it is for lake effect snow okay. or it is right. for an ice storm or it is for a potential blizzard. And in fact, we're, we're not doing blizzard watches anymore either. And part of the reason why is that the, the blizzard that hit last March, you know, blizzard watches were issued for New York City. Um, and people misunderstood that and felt, oh, a blizzard is definitely coming. Mm. So it was confusing. So the idea is, well, I think we've got to be more generic on the winter, on the watch phase when we're not certain that the storm is going to hit. Yeah. So, so we're just going to make it simple. Winter by, storm by, watch. By the way, we'll describe in the body of yeah. the watch message what it be is. on your iPhone and other phones okay. uh, what it's for, whether it's a lake effect storm, an ice storm, or just a, a big old snowstorm. Yeah. And uh, this the same by... thing for the advisories. Yeah. We're just issuing winter weather advisories. Uh, no more lake effect snow advisories. No more freezing rain advisories. But in the advisory itself, we will talk about what it's for. So again, it's just simplifying yeah, things okay. down a little bit. Yeah, can, can I ask the warnings a, won't change. The warning is the most serious. It means that uh, it's imp- basically the imminent. winter weather yeah. is going to, whatever it is, whether it's yeah. a lake effect snowstorm, a, you know, a coastal storm or an ice storm, means it's, it's coming. Okay. So the, those aren't changing. So it could be, so a winter storm warning could mean <laughs> the imminent possibility of, well, I guess that's an oxymoron, uh, that the, at least conditions are right <laughs> for uh, freezing rain. Conditions are right, and, and within the body of that storm warning will be freezing rain, lake effect snow, uh, uh, high winds, potential blizzard conditions, etc. Well, that would be, I guess I maybe misunderstood. The warnings won't change. So we will have lake effect snow warning. We oh, okay. will have ice storm warning. Okay, you will have so a blizzard have warning. Blizzard warning. It's just oh. on the watch phase when it's only a possibility. I completely misunderstood and, that. Yep. Yeah, I, I apologize for that. No, and then no. the advisory too is simple. So the advisory is for nuisance events. You know, we all, you get four inches of snow all the time up there, right? Yeah. Yep. So winter weather advisory just for either lake effect or just a, a little snowstorm. Uh, but when it comes to the bigger storms. We will still issue the same warnings that we've always issued. The okay. warnings are the most serious. All right. It means that we expect it to occur. We're confident the storm is coming, and it will impact you know, your area. 
Yeah. So those will not change. Okay. Th- that's where see I was getting. See how complicated this is? We're it, trying to simplify it. I, I, <laughs> I know, and I'll tell you the, the problem. Most, it's the most complicating simplification of anything I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's part of the reason why I think the Weather Service is doing this, because things yeah. have, have gotten a little too complicated. Yeah. And yeah. Even, even having a little interview like this, it's complicated. Yeah. So, again, we're... We're working on simplifying things down, and this is just the first step. There's yeah. probably, in the next five years or so, more steps coming to simplify our message so that people understand it better. i, I got to ask, and the thing that always throws me, and whether it's a snowstorm or a tornado, uh, the watch versus <laughs> warning. So watch means potential. The conditions set up a position where it's potential for it whatever. Could develop. It could happen. A warning means right. it's expected to happen. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And that's really the two, the most important thing right there is what you just said. And those terms have been confused uh, for, well, I've been in the Weather Service 26 years, okay? Are you a meteorologist, by the way? I was a conversation with people 25 years yeah. ago. <laughs> well, it's just something that is just not well understood, and we're, you know, yeah. we've worked on educating. I wouldn't be surprised if eventually the Weather Service goes away from issuing watches, Mm. Yeah, or just come and, up with another word that's not, watch and warning. It's like W A W A. So you come up with something exactly, that says exactly could so happen. I, I, it's I a it's a tornado possibility. We'll you know, try or to solve that. Yeah. Issue. Okay. But we're just taking it one step at a time. I mean, this is our official uh, notification of how we I, warn people. So I, we got to get it right. There's no room for error. I got to change it. Yeah. We can't. You know, we've got to be careful. So they're just taking it. Baby steps. I do have to tell you, I don't feel like I have been confused with with any of this. I'm I'm, and I think I've been okay. I know that a watch means it's possible something could happen, and I'm always sitting there waiting. Oh, it's switched to a warning. Um, so I maybe just because I'm working in media where we're always talking about it, um, maybe that's the reason. But um, I, I I do think that it's this is kind of the same. But it's it, it is uh, it is different, and we'll just go by what you guys uh, say. Andrew, you have uh... yeah. I just want to make a suggestion to simplify school delays and closings. Let you guys handle all that. Yeah, uh, you guys so we don't do have that? to worry about that. Either all schools are closed or none. That's I think that's a good way of doing it. Well, I think you have to talk to all the superintendents yeah. about that. Yeah, one. Well, I'll get on that. <laughs> well, and, and what is interesting, uh, David? We're talking to David and Nicosia is uh, with the National Weather Service. Are you a meteorologist, by the way? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. So, um, and we're go- just going over the changes in the alerts and the warnings that are going to be coming. The warnings basically are not changing, but the watches are going to be a little more general. And the body of the watch, we're going to find out whether it's freezing rain or high winds or, you know, potential for a, a, a blizzard. Um, I-, I do want to clear up one thing. So when I say um, partly cloudy versus partly sunny... <laughs> Which is the more enjoyable day for a beach day? Is it partly cloudy or partly sunny? I, I again, this is going to sound counterintuitive, but mm-hmm. partly sunny actually implies more clouds than partly cloudy. Yeah. Okay. But partly cloudy actually is less cloud, so it would be more enjoyable. That makes sense. However, I would say this: you guys are half glass full. Let me tell you. <laughs> you know, as far as I'm concerned, partly cloudy, partly sunny, same thing. Pretty you know, close. We, we yeah. Can get really complicated. Yeah, here. You're right. the weather's complicated, and it we're is. trying to simplify it in ways that you know we can understand it in quick sound bites. Yeah, and I, that's a hard thing to do sometimes. But you know, when I look at the partly cloudy, partly sunny, I like saying partly sunny because I like the word sun. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. exactly. In the state of New York in the middle yeah. of winter, you know. Yeah, it just makes you feel like again, it's that the glass is half full, not half empty. Right. <laughs> but I, I will say that when I try to do it, uh, when I read the weather, um, I try to say on a partly sunny day. I try to do a qualifier to say, which means more clouds than sun, which is technically, I guess, what you're saying. And that's what you could say. Yeah, I guess but you, you know, could. the way I look at it, Pete, you know, it's not, it, we're talking, we're talking like a, like 20% difference in cloud cover. So I just say yeah. go with the partly sunny. And just, yeah, it it's all the same. <laughs> all right. Well, in the all winter right. sometimes Again, when it's, it's not part- that, it's one of yeah. those things where it's not, the sky won't be full, full. Yeah clouds you know yeah, and that's, that's it, the main thing there David, will be sun i, I guess so. you've been doing this for a long time so our it is kind of interesting to see where 
the weather has gone from the weatherman, um, and by the way, in the days where maybe the weather was told once during the the, the six o'clock news, now it's on like eleven times. Um, but it's on all the time. But it, but how we have been able to follow and track and with radar and the fact that we're sending alerts out to people's phones, it really is amazing how this has the technology has 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 really improved forecasting especially that immediate danger type forecasting yeah we have the uh, wireless emergency alerts system that's all the cell phone providers at&t verizon sprint t-mobile yeah. etc all of those guys all of those companies are relaying our warnings via their cell tower so if we put a warning out for a tornado or a flash flood we will specify you know the the exact area and it's at the sub-county level of where the flash flood or tornado threat is to be highest. And yeah. if your phone is in that box that we draw on our computer screen based on our, the radar, your phone will go off and say flash flood warning or tornado yeah, yeah. warning. But it'll say fl- it'll you've say- got to be in that, and it's a sub-county level. So yeah. you've got to be in a very, because we, we try to hit the areas of the, the highest risk for these, you know, these dangers. Right. When you issue, I, I don't remember, I don't know if I've ever received one. If you insert issued a tornado warning for instance would it Uh go to the area where my phone is registered for instance if i live does it follow the gps thank you it follows the gps yeah so if i'm out of town in california iowa traveling yeah i don't know why you go to iowa but if you you know (laughs) very good question hey you know and and see all the corn growing yeah Uh, anyway you're out in iowa you have no idea that you're in kent county i'm just making that up i don't know if there is a kent county iowa but you're in some county and a tornado warnings issue for that county it doesn't matter. You don't need to know that you're in that county. Your phone will go off. That okay. is really... That's and a, you've got that, one. It's the like scary... On, yeah, that's awesome. You know. I want to give one final thing and we'll let you go, David, because weather is interesting. Um, but I have one complaint, and that is okay. our met, our metro area is basically Oneida, and there's some Madison and uh, Otsego and Herkimer, but Oneida and Herkimer are the two largest counties in our metro area. <laughs> Interestingly, Herkimer County seems to receive the alerts from Albany, and Oneida County gets the alerts from uh, Binghamton, I believe. So some, right. sometimes we'll get a winter, so it starts as a winter storm watch, and everybody's like, oh, you got to see me school tomorrow, do I have to buy milk? Um, <laughs> and, and Utica, Oneida County will switch, Binghamton will switch to a storm warning before Albany does. It, it does make it difficult uh, here, and so there is no coordination between Albany and Binghamton. Can you talk about that just a little uh, bit? That's, that's not true. We're okay. supposed to coordinate. The only thing I will say is that sometimes, you know, our forecaster might get the warning out earlier by, by an hour because, you know, there are different times. You know, Got it. forecasters work at different paces, mm-hmm. but we work together with all with Buffalo and Albany, and we, you know, we coordinate when we're going to issue a watch, when we're going to go to a warning. Yeah. So... If you see a delay, it's probably just simply because the forecaster is... Um, you just said it done. You know, it's a time. Got it. Yeah, they're, they're at a different... Maybe they're an hour behind or something. Okay. You, you never know what happens and, you know, when, when you're it. sitting at the forecaster's desk. I mean, what, what could delay you? Yeah, and, and, and to be fair also, mm-hmm. when a storm comes out of the east, sometimes it reaches uh, into Herkimer County but is not as severe in, uh, in Oneida County. So it, it does complicate things just a little bit. But uh, listen, this yeah, has been... Is. Quite yeah, uh, in, it happens. This has been intriguing and enjoyable, and David, I appreciate okay. your time. Okay, well, thank you very much. Have a great day. All right, you too, and good luck this winter. Yep, you too. Okay, we all nice. need it. Okay, uh, did that answer everybody's questions? Yeah, and for the record, there there was a Kent, Iowa, not a Kent County, Iowa. To me, uh, Kent County, Iowa city. sounds pretty uh, likely, but yeah. uh, Kent, Iowa doesn't Used sound to as be good a as city in Union County, but it right. has been disincorporated.